Welcome to another Keyshot 9 quick tip. In this video, I'll give you a quick look at the new denoise function and a few tips on how to implement it into your product visualization workflow. In Keyshot 9, you now have the option to use the all new denoise function to speed up your rendering process. Denoise is a spectacular feature for creating quick and easy design and colorway comps during the iterative process. It also works exceptionally well when rendering cloudy plastics, white on white plastics, scattering medium, and depth of field renderings that typically require a high number of samples to achieve smooth results. Whether using CPU or GPU, Denoise can be enabled to create fast and visually appealing compositions for single and multi frame renders. It will successfully denoise stills, animations, configurator renderings, and XRs. This function typically achieves the best results when rendering in product mode, so definitely take that into account when rendering out your scenes. To use the denoise function, simply locate the denoise button on the ribbon at the top of the Keyshot workspace. If your denoise button is grayed out, it means your image style is locked and needs to be toggled to an unlock state from the image tab in the project panel. This is also where you will find the denoise parameter slider that determines the amount of denoise effect being applied to your scene. Once the denoise effect is toggled on, Keyshot will automatically update your scene preview every 5 seconds by default. If you experience loss of image details, allow the scene to res up for a more accurate preview. When you're ready to render out your final image, be aware that denoise will not be displayed in the render output window until the job is complete. Denoise is a post-process effect and as such will not be evident until the completion of the render. If you are a user of Keyshot 9 Pro, you have the option to render out a raw pass along with your denoised image so that you can make a copy of your scene that is free of any denoising effect. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. Let us know your thoughts on this feature in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.